Hey, what's going on guys? Crow Sama here, and today we're taking a look at the Metal Build Gundam Exia Repair 4, also known as Graham Gundam. Now, I don't know if NewTypeHQ.com is actually going to get this particular Metal Build in stock, but if they do, try to be the first one there because I'm pretty sure it is going to sell out very quickly. And if it is your first time using this promo code, then type in that slash Crow Sama so that way you can get 10% off your first purchase. Now we take a look at the box first. It is looking amazing. Honestly, I love this cover art. I love the pose. I love everything about it. Even the little signature of Graham Gundam right there at the bottom. It is just a marvelous metal build. Now rotating it to the back, we're gonna get some more poses right here. It's gonna have like description and just kind of like story of the actual Graham Gundam, but it's all in Japanese, so not really gonna understand it here. Instead, you're gonna have to go to the wiki or some other websites that explains the Gundam. Now, just a quick little story lesson. Basically, Setsuna selects Graham to be one of the celestial beings, and Graham is pretty much given the Exe Repair 3, and then also kind of just parts of the Double Quant, or at least a prototype of it, so that way he can soup up his Exe 3. And he just gets a lot of prototype things. You know, it's not 100% Exe, it's not 100% the Double Quant, it's just kind of a mixture of the two so yeah that's basically it and this is all really tethered around that theater play that came around like two years ago uh, so I didn't really dive too much into it because if it doesn't have like an animation or maybe even like a novel I'm not really too concerned about the story so I do encourage you to read up on it if you want to get like super deep into the details of this Gundam now, I, though I say that, I am a huge Exia fan, so I felt like this was a must-buy. And eventually, I do want to get a Repair 3 for my collection, because as of right now, Repair 3 is the only one I don't have in the collection. But anyways, let's go ahead and move on to everything that's going to come within the box. Now, coming straight out of the box, you're going to get, obviously, Exia. You get a beautiful white and blue base, base adapter, five pairs of hands in total, and the seven GM blades. So we'll take a look at Exia first. Oh my god, this isn't my first metal build, but it is my first true metal build Gundam, and I must say, I am in love. Now when we're talking details here, we're talking topper line quality. We're talking about metal die casts almost scattered everywhere throughout the metal build. Like, everything just feels like it is die cast except for the outer armor such as the blue and the white stuff um, all that armor is just pretty much going to be you know, plastic but everything else all like this you know inner frame that is just completely die cast maybe in some areas it isn't but for the most part it's all die cast and this bad boy is going to be feeling quite hefty i mean i'm feeling close to about maybe like two pounds or so other details include markings Now we are going to have the clear pieces, much like the original Exeus do have as well, but one is going to be right here on the chest. And if you can see it, it does say R4 to represent the Repair 4. You also get the clear condensers right here on the legs, as well as one right here on the right arm, and one on the left arm. Now speaking of left arm, this is going to be super nice. It is going to be asymmetric with the right arm, and I love that so much. This entire thing is just going to have this beautiful asymmetric style with the left arm, as well as the G and shield on this side. Uh, but it looks great. I love the details on the left arm. I love how it's just completely mechanic. It doesn't have any armor. It just, it's just raw, and I love it. Now let's just take a look at the articulation. So starting with the head, this part right here in the back can actually come up quite a bit. It's going to be on a ball joint, so it's going to have that great range of movement. These chest fins can also move up and down, just be careful with them. It's going to have a beautiful, beautiful ab crunch. Now I believe these chest pieces are going to be on little hinges. It doesn't seem like it's going to be on a ball joint, but it can move a bit up and down. Shoulders can move all around. Shoulder armor can pop up and down, can rotate forward, elbow rotation, two points of articulation in the elbow, so it's going to give you a really good bend. Hands going to be on ball joints, and pretty much the same range of movement is going to be with the left arm, just a little bit less articulation when it comes to the bend. Ball joint for the torso, front skirt's going to be on little ball joints. This front crotch piece can actually move out, 
Back skirt's gonna be on little ball joints that can move out. Leg's gonna have some really good range of movement coming almost all the way out. Can rotate backwards about that far. And can rotate forwards, uh, it's pretty tight, but it can go pretty far as well. Two parts of articulation in the knee, so this part right here is actually going to come down quite a ways, but if you bring this back up and we bend this one, then you can have even further distance. Ankle armor can move up. This little back armor can move a little bit. Incredible range of movement for the feet. Look at that side bend, that is insane. Can also move forward, can move backwards. This little piece right here can actually move down and up as well as this piece of the foot. Now coming over to the Gian Shield, this is gonna have multiple points of movement. So this piece right here can actually move up and down. Right here can move it backwards. A rotation right here, which is gonna be super tight. A rotation right here. These flaps can move in and out. The Gian Drive right here can actually rotate. This piece of the armor actually separates, as well as this one. So overall, the articulation is actually going to be really good. So let's move on to the accessories. For hands, you're going to get two fists. Even though the hands are different, they're still going to do the same thing, which are fists. You get these accessory holding hands, which are pretty much going to be for the blades. Once again, more accessory holding hands. I don't really know what the difference is between this one and the last one I just showed you. Could be just the angle, but they just hold the weapons. Now these are going to be on an angle, which is definitely for more dynamic poses, which I definitely appreciate because if you give me an angled hand that's kind of like just pointing downwards like that at the wrist, then I'm definitely going to be able to pull off some mm, delicious poses. And lastly, you get your jazz hands, which are going to be good for posing with like little dynamic hand expressions. Now, like I showed you earlier, you do get the Gundam Exia Repair 4 Gram Gundam base, which is going to be awesome now this part of the base right here is actually adjustable so meet your needs now if you pull this lever down you're going to be able to extend the neck of the base and then pushing this little button right here is going to allow this to move and then you can lock it by pushing it back and then you can get this little adapter right here which is pretty simple it connects directly underneath the exia or you could use this little adapter right here which plugs into this which could also plug into the Exia, but honestly, it's not necessary. It just kind of like adds, I guess, a little bit extra stability. Now the first weapon we're gonna take a look at is going to be the GM Battle Blades. It's gonna be really nice with that blue. You're gonna have some of that like gunmetal color. Uh, nothing here is going to be, you know, die cast. They don't want it to weigh down too much, but you're also gonna have this nice clear green right here with some of the markings. This isn't actually bits. This is gonna be just blades because they're prototypes of the double quant blades, which is pretty cool, but unfortunately they are not gonna act as bits. And you connect them to the shield by having the blade pointing upwards. And next up we have is the two GN Battle Swords. So much like the Battle Blades, you know, they're basically the same thing, except for these are gonna have larger blades. They look pretty cool and they're still going to attach to the GN Shield. And so how you do that is just flip this little piece right here out and you're going to attach it to underneath the Battle Sword. And it's gonna be pointed downwards.
what we got next is going to be the two GM bayonets. They are basically both a melee weapon and they're going to be your range weapon. So basically just bring this handle down and it can act like a pistol or rifle, or whatever, whatever it's really supposed to be. But that yeah, they look pretty cool. This unfortunately does not like rotate much like the double O riser, which would have been really cool, but it's just, you know, basically a range weapon. Now they do connect right here on the back storage and this is going to have its own individual articulation so it can move quite a ways so that way if you're trying to reach around here and grab it you can actually bring it further up and you can you know basically just have a ease of access right here and then so it's going to have these little connecting points right here and here they are mounted And the last accessory is going to be the massive GN Tachi. It is just basically a huge katana and it looks gorgeous. I love it. This is something that I really want more of when it comes to my Exia because I love the GN Blade, I love the GN Blade 2, the 5, all of them, but this right here is probably the best GN Blade I've ever seen. It's very simplistic, it's sleek, and it's just mm, downright gorgeous. And of course there's a slot right here on the back so that way we can attach it. Now what my final thoughts essentially just boils down to, it is a necessity for your collection, but I do understand people, they don't wanna spend that much money on one figure. I mean, a lot of people are pretty rational and they're like, hey, I can buy multiple high grades or even master grades or even probably even multiple perfect grades for this amount of money. It's like, what is this really gonna do for me that I could probably get with something else? It's just really depending on you. So far, this is the only variant uh, or only type of figure that we have of this particular design. So if you want an XC Repair 4, you're gonna have to do a lot of customization on the model side. But if you just want something that represents it, hey, this is gonna be your quick, easy buy, so that way you can have this Exia Repair 4 represented on your shelf with all your other 00 Gundams. So, well, that's it for my rambling, guys. Honestly, just go out and get it if you can. So, thank you all for watching. Thank you all to the members that have join the channel if you want to go ahead and become a member too just click that join right down there below and enjoy all the different perks that come with it uh, other than that i'll be seeing you guys on the next video bye bye